Hong Kong has made headlines in recent years for political unrest, sky-high property prices, and a growing wealth gap. Despite this, Hong Kongers still have the highest life expectancy rate in the world. According to the World Bank, the average life expectancy for men born in Hong Kong is 82 years. For women, it's 88. That's higher than places like Japan, Singapore, and Italy, which historically are better known for their long living populations. So why do Hong Kongers live so long? Experts say longevity can be attributed to several factors, including a developed and comparatively wealthy economy, good social services, and a healthy lifestyle. Hong Kong is a global financial hub with one of the world's most developed economies. Many of its residents hold steady jobs. The city's unemployment rate has never exceeded 9% since records started being kept in 1981. According to two of Hong Kong's top universities, the city's stable economy means many Hong Kongers can afford a healthier lifestyle. Although not completely free, Hong Kong has one of the most affordable and accessible public health care systems in the world. Residents can see a doctor at a public hospital for less than 15 US dollars. Public health care costs in Hong Kong are considerably cheaper than in other places. In 2019, Hong Kong has paid a total of 24.3 billion US dollars for health care accounting for 6.8% of the city's GDP. In comparison, people in the United Kingdom spent 10.2% of the country's GDP on healthcare in 2019, while in the US healthcare expenditure accounted for 18% of its GDP. Access to healthcare has also contributed to Hong Kong having one of the world's lowest mortality rates for infants and children under five years old. Hong Kongers are known for practically living on top of each other in one of the most densely populated places in the world. But its more land mass makes Hong Kong a highly livable city because residents have easy access to pretty much everything. They are less tempted to drive because things like food bridges and lifts give them options to walk to their destinations and places further away are easily reached through the city's public transport network. The MTR system, for example, can get most people from point A to B in under 30 minutes. Hong Kong's geographical location is also advantageous. Being situated east of the Pearl River estuary on the southern coast of China means the city does not experience extreme temperature fluctuations, nor does it face any geological hazards, which may factor into why Hong Kongers live longer. Hong Kong also offers plenty of options for its population to enjoy nature and get outdoor exercise. Hiking trails are easily accessible and abundant, as are public beaches. There are also parks and outdoor sitting areas for people to get fresh air. Traditionally, Hong Kong has also enjoyed a healthier, more well-rounded diet than people in the rest, with a preference for more fish, fresh fruits and vegetables, rice and nut oils. Another reason given for Hong Kong's longevity is that its population, particularly the older generation, is resilient. An estimated 70% of the city's residents aged 70 and over were born in mainland China and migrated to Hong Kong in search for a better life. Many did so through arduous journeys that involve hiking, running, climbing over mountains and swimming to get to Hong Kong. The result is a population that has proven its resilience amid physical and mental hardships. One recent study found the single most important driver for Hong Kong's longevity is the city's attitude towards smoking. Hong Kong has been regulating the use and sale of cigarettes since 1982. Smoking is now banned at all indoor workplaces, parks, 
beaches and all public transport, with hefty fines for offenders. The cost of cigarettes in Hong Kong is also much more expensive than in mainland China. A pack now costs at least 750 US dollars. These measures appear to have worked. The prevalence of smoking in Hong Kong has been gradually falling from 23.3% of the population in 1983 to 10.2% in 2019. These figures correspond with a study by the University of Hong Kong, which found the number of people who have died from smoking-related diseases is the lowest compared to other developed regions and countries. First is that smoking is always a natural candidate to explain differences in life expectancy. There's really very few other, if any other, characteristic that can lead to a person dying 10 years earlier on average if they, you know, if they are exposed to this. The reason why Hong Kong people live longer than other people, especially the high income regions, is because we have much fewer deaths due to cardiovascular diseases in both men and women, and also much fewer deaths in cancer in women. But can Hong Kong retain the title of having the world's highest life expectancy? Health experts have expressed concerns over the emergence of electronic cigarettes and heated tobacco products, which may attract more young Hong Kongers to take up the habit. The Hong Kong government tackled the problem by passing a bill in October 2021 to ban the import and sale of such tobacco products in the city. But there are also concerns. While Hong Kong has one of the most accessible public health care systems in the world, the long unresolved wealth gap in the city has led to health inequality. Changes in diet and increased levels of pollution have also been highlighted as areas that put Hong Kong's status at risk. We cannot be complacent uh, because we're, we're first. And so if we don't maintain our survival advantage by uh, continuing with these uh, healthy behaviours, doing everything we can to really implement very stringent, successful tobacco control so that we avoid uh, the uh, normalisation of tobacco use. Smoking can always come back and then our life expectancy will, will drop. Uh, there is still room for improvement.